Before this episode starts, I just want to warn you that this is a different type of episode. As some of you know, I went on a trip this last summer to the Balkans, and one of the countries I visited was Bosnia. While visiting, we spoke to a couple local hostel owners about their experience in the Yugoslavian war. They were there in Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia, the whole time while they were being massacred. I wanted to share this audio because even though it has nothing to do with photography or videography, it can open up a new perspective in people's mind about what our lives are really like here compared to there. We have so many privileges and really there should be nothing we should be complaining about because the things they have gone through are way, way, way worse. I hope you enjoy. I hope you take the time to listen. And next week we'll be back with another photography or videography styled video. Enjoy. No other option. You cannot talk to them. There is no... They talk when they are near to be defeated. Like yeah. in Dayton, they started to talk when they were bombed. Yeah. When they were forced to talk. And Milosevic was forced to talk and, and Karadzic and the others. When we came in front of Banja Luka, Predar, when they were losing war, they started to talk. But before this, for four years, they just kill, they just destroy. They don't talk. This is mentality of the, of the, of the people on the Balkans, you know. Like, like African mentality is sometimes more brutal than African, you know. Brutality is on the most high level. That's the problem. The same thing happened on Kosovo. Brutality on Kosovo was also too big. The raving of the Albanian women, killing them, civilians, four villages, burning everything, destroying. That's the mm -hmm. And in central Bosnia was like uh, when Bosnia and Croatian troops, army, soldiers came in one village so called Ahmici. They killed the whole village at five in the morning. And they burned them alive. They were killing them and burning them alive, civilians, women's kids, and so on. And uh, 119, they 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 uh, managed to kill uh, in five in the morning, you know, yeah. in this yeah. operation in Ahmić in central Bosnia. When English British soldiers came into the village, you know, they were they couldn't believe, you know, what, what, what they saw, you know. And from that moment, you know, they, I mean, even today, these these guys are not normal. They are not normal. From Bosnia and the war, they are not normal even today. Still, they live in England, but they are not normal. What they saw, you know, and what was it there and what they did, and, you know, it's catastrophic. Armitage was catastrophic, central Bosnia also. They were hiding them, trying to save them. Only English soldiers were good. They had a heart, they had feelings, they had. They had something, you know, like something human, you know. They showed humanity, English soldiers, you know, British soldiers, but no, no other people, you know, no other nations, you know. They were putting them transport to, in transporters, UN transporters, to save some civilians. They managed to save some people, but it was not enough. You know. So the entire reason for this... Mostar. So don't talk about Mostar. Mostar was just ruins, like, like Hiroshima, you know. Croatians, they were, they destroyed all bridge and whole old town down, and they were like, you couldn't hide in the basements in Mostar because mm -hmm. they were destroying with artillery even basements, you know. And Mo Mostar was Hiroshima Nagasaki, you know, like atomic bomb fell on Mostar. Oh it was my. just the dust and the stones, full of stones on the ground and dust. Like, so it wasn't they even... They converted Mostar into dust. It was really nothing. No, nothing. It was like ruins, dust. How big confrontation was with Croatian army done between Bosnian army and Cro Croatian army? We stopped them uh, on Boulevard down because Mostar is divided city like uh, on eastern and western Mostar. Yeah. In in, a he in the heads of the people is divided. There, there are no lines, some physical lines in between Bosnia and Croats, you know. But in, in their heads, they don't come on this side. We don't go to their side, yeah. you know. And on Boulevard, it was like a war line. No, I, I've heard of armies, that. armies, you know, and we stopped them down. Croatian army and Bosnian ground forces went down from the Cigolina, Croatia, and so on. With very small weapons, we, 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 we stopped them, you know. We had small weapons, but what they had, we didn't have anything. Well, you had to be really creative with your weapons, exactly. right? You had to, like, we the most make brave, out of you know, pipes the and shit. The best soldiers yeah. were Bosnian soldiers. The most brave, the most... You know, the, the highest motivation they fight. Yeah, you don't have a choice. Because when you are defending your life and your home, you know, you are 
highly motivated, you know. You are a lot more motivated. You're way more than, passionate than, than, than the some, enemy. Some crazy source from Serbia comes as, as paramilitaries, you know, to kill yeah. and to destroy. And they were picking them up, uh, organizing them in reserve police forces. What they do now, they are creating reserve police forces. It's again out In basically. Serbia? No, here in Bosnia. Oh, here, okay. Because Russians, they organize them up there in Laktashi training center. And uh, they have Russian uh, instructors from Russia. And they are training them now in Laktashi next to Banja Luka in this training center. They oh. have a big base, Russians, Russian instructors. And they are doing now again the same thing, uh, creating reserve police forces you know, and nobody is reacting, no international community, no Dayton peace agreement, nothing. They don't respect anything, you know. Serbians don't because respect peace agreements. Because they have Russians behind them, Russian ambassador here is, I would kick him out from the Bosnia, you know, Mr. Ivancov, Alexander, I would kick him out, you know. And uh, he's, he's um, I would proclaim him, him in, in persona non grata for sure for his actions and what he's talking here, what he's doing and how they are undermining the, the, the country, you know. Because they don't they are not letting us Russia is not letting us to enter NATO. Seventy percent of the population's the population wants to enter NATO. But twenty five to thirty percent of Serbs are blocking in fact the, the country and we mm -hmm. cannot uh, enter NATO because of them. And it, it's like it's like like it's stuck country. It's, stuck completely you know. NATO is only force that can guarantee peace here in the Western Balkans. There is only one force that's uh, in NATO, nobody else. With the NATO, we would for sure avoid war and we would never be again in the war. We would be peaceful and stable and... So why do you think that, why do you think that will happen then? Because the Serbs have... Because Na Serbs why do you think NATO population? won't come in and do it? Put uh, their power down then. Dayton is a peace agreement and mm -hmm. he made uh, our constitution. And uh, there are big uh, guarantors of the Dayton peace uh, agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, big, there are big powers, in fact, USA, uh, Russia, France, China. I don't know, big powers, you know. Uh, by Dayton, they should intervene, but I don't think so. You know? Because I see now that they are not doing anything since 2006, you know. I don't think so that they will. Because Dayton is, this was a long time ago, 25, six years ago, Dayton is, you know, that's, that, uh, Dayton was, was, how to explain it, maybe, since, since for, he could be like agreement for 10 years, maybe, 15 years, but he expired, you know, Dayton has expired, he, 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 he's gone, you know, he's, this kind of agreement is, this was maybe for first 10, 15 years, good, you know, but after nobody respects this, or the time has passed of Dayton, Dayton Accords, or Dayton Peace Agreement. God. This was not too long time ago. Yeah. 20 years ago, isn't really that long. 25 was November. That's uh, now, it's 2019, 24 years after. 25. Yeah, within your lifetime. Yeah. Speechless. It's insane. It's the sad, you know, but it's true. Yeah. Well, it's it's, it's just like a little bit um, infuriating as well. You know, it like it like that's causes like I, anger. That's why, because not of this even just, just sadness. This political situation. Right. And Politics affects everything. How this political situation is is developing, you know, and we see that it's going in a new conflict in the war. Of course, young people they don't want to live here. Most of the young people, they live to the West, you know. And we have a big losses of population because the uh, majority of them, they they go, they leave. It's sad, but it's understandable, I mean, to be they honest. They leave because know. they don't want to live in this kind of uh, atmosphere, you know. Yeah, just a... Uh, in this type of political situation. In, in, uh, in, in They don't want to live, like, under these uh, circumstances, you know, under this... Uh, it's impossible, you know, and the economy cannot develop a lot uh, because of uh, politics, you know. Politics is influencing uh, economy, and economy and investors, of course, they will not come in a country which is not politically stable. Yeah. Who will invest, you know, who will invest uh, uh, if tomorrow some Serbian paramilitaries will come on the, the on Trebevich mountain, who would invest here? No one. Who would, who yeah. would invest uh, tomorrow, like into factory? I don't know, fifty million dollars or hundred million dollars. 
in a country that is not secure, in a country that is not politically stable, in a country that is not in uh, NATO, country is not in NATO, country is not in EU, because Serbs don't want, they have another plans, they want mm -hmm. secession, they want to take half of the country to become Serbia, they have another plans, you know, they don't have any plan that Bosnia enters NATO or EU, because they know if you enter EU and NATO, NATO will come on the border mm -hmm. with Serbia, and the game is over. Game is over. They won't not, let it happen. They, they, they're too they, strong. They will not be able to, to, to do secession. They will not be able to take half of Bosnia yeah. to join Serbia if you put NATO in between us. Serbs here are paranoid and they are supporting Russian stance in politics. Yeah. And Russians and KGB people and all this, they are paranoid. Who's they KGB? See, I mean, FSB now. Real Russian Secret Service. Oh, okay. These guys see everybody as a threat. That's not theirs. They're very paranoid. All of these countries paranoid. that we're talking about, Russia, China, Serbia. Yeah, yes. Yeah, they they have, and, and that's why visiting there is like so dangerous. But not dangerous. For Western at, at countries? Least, for Westerners, least, For Westerners, people. yes. At least it can be not nice experience. They will ask you hundreds of questions about why yes. you're there, what you're doing, and why did you, you do this, why did you do that? You, for instance, yeah. in our country, in this part of the country, you don't need to report when you stay somewhere up until seven days. There is no need to report to police. In Serb Republic, it's a Republic of Srpska, so-called Republic of Srpska, self-styled, is you have to report yourself right away when you come to police. And there is like a special card you have to fill. And if they find you suspicious, they will come to question you. Mm. It's crazy beyond belief. Yeah. It's completely contrary to our concept of free, open, liberal society. We, we yeah. can't advocate. Which is what it should be. That is like a huge, huge problem. But, yeah. Problem is, this, this is like a small, bizarre country and obscure kind of place. But Nobody the thing cares is, about yeah. it. It's, but it's it, so important to the Balkans and like... The, like you were saying, yeah. It's, it's it is a big part of there, Europe too. Yeah. Yeah. But in the eye, in Washington and in London and, and, and in Paris and in Berlin, we are a small, obscure pla place at the end of the world. So uh, if bad things happen here, they are not concerned. That's how it was. But I feel like because I think Serbia made a mistake doing it, and if they do it again the same way, like, like the government knows what happened here. Because yeah. they, my government, the United States, bombed this place I for know, a reason. I know, I know, so I don't a, think that, and then they didn't, they didn't wait that long for Kosovo. They were like, oh my God, Serbia is literally not stopping no matter what we say. Not stopping, so we actually no. have to do something. Even now, they are now claiming they have a protection of Russia and China. And therefore they feel emboldened to start problem again. Yeah. Essentially they want to get rid of everybody. They want. Uh, they, they want in, power over the world. They want power first in their yeah, own first courtyard. Sure. They are. They, they. They want advantages of the global world, but without disadvantages, which means that they don't want society that is, that is diverse. They want society that is one nation, Serbian. one religion, one people, one, like nationality. In, in Germany. Yeah. So everybody the same. Whoever is different get separated and either mm -hmm. expelled or annihilated or destroyed. And this is a huge problem. And it's most of these countries historically are mixed. Nothing so what have. do you do then? If you have, you, on the ground you have mixed people, and in your mind you have concept of purity, so-called purity. And then that's how you end up doing genocides and exterminating huge mm -hmm. masses of people in one place. There are lots of maniacs worldwide and, and sick people that they, that they think in these, they do not understand that the world has become a small place, has become a globalized place, very connected, interconnected. Mm -hmm. and yes, 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 yes. And they still think like, like, like before 200, 300 years ago. That's why I have terrorism, that's why I have all these people that think they can bring the clock back. They want to they wanna turn the clock back two, three hundred years. And with our technological advancements and everything that's going on, it's like, it's fights. Yeah, it's just not going to make the world a better place. You're fighting clouds, you're fighting, you know, something metaphorical and very, very uh, unclear. You, you, and, you, and probably you cannot win, unless yeah. many people die. And even then, maybe, probably you won't win. 
So uh, it's very hard. It's very hard. All these my, my mythologies, religions, their beliefs, their belief systems. Mm. They didn't come to our age. They are fighting war with our age, and with our time. And it's it's very hard. Well, and I used that. to think that like fighting only came from power, and I thought that like power was the reason it would like was so driven. But I think that it's now coming to Bosnia and seeing Serbia and seeing Kosovo and all these places. I think that it's also nationalism. It's power with nationalism, and nationalism is so so strong that no one. Like in our Western world, like we, I don't even think that we understand the power of. But nationalism. even in your country, even in U.S. now, you have these tendencies, like far right mm -hmm. tendencies. I mean, they they imagine that the United States is going to be all white Protestant society. Yeah. Again. It's yeah. But the only small problem is like hundred million blacks in Puerto Rico. <laughs> small problem. <laughs> the small problem. Is yeah. Hundred million. <laughs> there are conflicts, ongoing yeah. conflict about that and. And, and again yeah. and again and again and look up. I mean, Trump is 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 also like like a huge nostalgic leap in 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 back in history. Yeah. Like, well, like it's this, letting this, people believe that what they believe about ex like being racist being is right. Like it 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 is like what the was leader the thing of the you said? first world is what you were like. It's like showing people that, like, you know, oh, I'm not so crazy after all, you know? Right. It's like letting these people who have these beliefs come out and actually say, like, oh, fuck yeah, actually, this is actually okay. It's understandable. But yeah. it's not. But Trump allowed the, the world he, to spin in a way that it shouldn't be. I'm not saying everything he does is wrong, but many things he does. But it's, the, it's just the idea of them, too. I mean, I think in the world community... He, he's 1950s, yeah. 1950s America's president in 2019. Yeah. Huh. It's like a little bit. Yeah. Uh, he was he was voted. I mean, a majority of white women have voted for Trump. I know. Can Isn't, that Isn't that sick? I mean, I, I was I was saying he doesn't even believe in our rights, and we voted for him. It's uh, disgusting. You know, like you know, it, 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 they know he's misogynist, and and, and he doesn't like. Or doesn't respect at least most women, but still, no. he I mean, like, still got the votes. Do you know I, why? Because all those white women are married for to religious Trumplicans. That's what I call them. Maybe. No, that that is. But I yeah, mean, my friends, my family. Pussy, it's marriage. It's women. Women still don't have their own opinion in marriage. I, I ask some of these women, like, "Yo, that's so pro-Trump. It's he's he's the whole he's gonna save U.S. and so." And I said, you don't mind that somebody grabs you for the pussy? No. <laughs> My dad is a cyclist. And every Trump sign that he would see, he'd just yell, grab her by the pussy. <laughs> every single time. Every single time in the election. You don't mind Because it was it, like, please? you have, you have a woman like, working with a Trump sign. It's like, dude, he doesn't respect you at all. It's sick. It's sick. I mean, like, there are problems. I mean, there are objective problems. But maybe this, this, this way is not, not the way to solve it. He he's answered to problems, but maybe not the, not not completely the right answer. That's that's the problem, and we are feeling that also, because all these people feel emboldened. They say if this if this can pass in U.S. this is so diverse, then imagine what we can do in our country, right. which are eighty percent pure or seventy percent majority pure. What we will do then? What sort of things we can do? You're nice sparking I, ideas. So everything is connected, interconnected world, global world. Everything has something to do with something else. Yeah. Always. What can you do? Let's hope it won't erupt in war. But just, in our that, country, yeah. can always think these things can always happen because there is potential for that. Yeah. Well, even just if you just look at Trump and Putin, you know, like what we're talking about. You know, it's like Putin is Serbia obviously sees like. A way in with that, you know. There, there. Now there's this ally that is with, you know, Russia, China, Serbia, who's with the Western world. Who, you know, America is allies with, like, Canada, Britain. You know, like now there's like a crisscross, and yeah. Trump single-handedly did that as a president. We'll see. We'll see how this all evolves. We'll see what effect. We will see. Hopefully. Next, we'll next elections see in the U.S. are important. 
they will have uh, long-reaching consequences like these last ones have. And, and if Trump wins again, we will see more of these things erupt. He's not going to win again. <laughs>